rookie agents Matt Gable and Derek McCain respond to a call in a remote area near the border fence. Uh, right now we're heading over to Windmill Canyon. Uh, right now we had two, two bodies uh, spotted down in uh, the snow shoots area over here. And we have Omaha, our helicopter, right now assisting us. The rookies race along a controversial fence built to prevent illegal immigration and smuggling. Proponents point to a more than 50% decrease in apprehensions in some areas as proof of the fence's success, but opponents suggest it only pushes immigrants farther east into the more treacherous desert terrain. Not only does this make the journey more dangerous for the immigrants, but also more difficult for the agents to catch them. Rookies McCain and Gable arrive at the spot where the immigrants were detected. But they're too late. Yeah, they're, they already caught these guys. Field training officer Matthew Sturrock has beaten them to the punch. Agent Sturrock hands the suspected illegal immigrants over to the rookies for processing. It gives the agents a chance to practice their Spanish. Las nalgas. ¿De qué país es usted ciudadano? ¿Cuándo entró a los Estados Unidos? Ahora. Ahora? Uh, ¿A qué tiempo? La madrugada. No sé qué hora, pero no, no estaba arriba. The brother and sister say they began their 2,000-mile journey to the border over a month ago from Honduras. In principio, a Guatemala en autobús. Autobús. Sí. De Chiapas hacia acá en tren hacia Mexicali. En lo de arriba del tren. Tanto peligro por cuestión de maras y cuestión de asaltantes y de todo. Sí, nos robaron una cantidad de dinero. Pero en Guatemala. En Guatemala. Sí. Traíamos 9,000 empiras. Un amigo supuestamente de nosotros que nos dijo que nos viniéramos hacia acá. Nos quitó con engaños diciendo que lo iba a cambiar por dinero guatemalteco. No, no lo volvimos a ver. The majority of the people the rookies will encounter patrolling the border are not working for the cartels. Most are simply looking for work and a better life, risking everything to try and make it across. Lo más que todo porque ahí están las maras y a veces se quieren aprovechar de uno que es mujer que lo había perdido mi trabajo. Ah. Sí, la empresa cerró y no, no nos dio nada. Entonces, mis padres dependen prácticamente de nosotros. Ellos son personas grandes y solo pasan enfermos. Entonces, ya al ver que nos quedábamos desempleados, lo poquito que teníamos, lo reunimos y decidimos con otra la ayuda de una persona que nos engañó eh, emprender este viaje pero sí ha sido bien dificultoso. Uh, it is really sad uh, quite a few times. There are a lot of hardworking people that do come over, but you do take an effect from it and, and you do feel bad, you know, uh, but at the same time, uh, just got to keep going. <laughs>